There's, uh, or at least one police report. There's some letters. I don't know. I guess just take one and pass it around if you don't care. I'm kind of burning my time here. Um, as many of you know, last year, uh, for a greater part of the year, I was attacked uh, by a certain individual. Um, and, and very little was done through the Fairfield Police Department. It was told that it was a civil matter. And I had no problem in believing that at first. But as things wore on, the advice that I took, the attorney's representation, he's asking why is the Fairfield Police Department not responding and doing their job. The state's attorney made some of the same remarks. Uh, he was failing to prosecute. And I'm not saying all the blame is to put on the Fairfield Police Department. But some of the things that I've seen and personally experienced throughout the course of the past, say, 16 or 17 years, personally, has been uh, nothing shy of prejudice and malice. And it's on all levels of law enforcement uh, as far as the city or the state's attorney. And I, it seems like I can't get anything done. It seems like I have to fight my fights. And when I do decide to fight my fights, it seems like they're very well and capable of prosecuting me. I believe you'll see enclosed in that pamphlet tonight that you'll see uh, several charges recommended to the other individual and one charge recommended against me. Out of all of those, the only one that was prosecuted was the one against myself. I put up with an utter hell in my life, torturing my family, my children, parents, sister, and not a thing was ever done about it. Not a thing. The only thing that was done was I was ended up being prosecuted. Tell me if anybody sits here before you tonight that could take that kind of abuse and not end up wanting to do something. And now, here we are with matters concerning Sergeant Titzer, matters concerning Victoria Greer, matters concerning various other members of the public. And I'm appalled at anybody that could sit here and say that they are happy with the way this police department is running. In fact, I would even ask you guys to consider calling on their resignation tonight for both parties. Some of this has went on long before Chief Fulkerson got here. I know some information exists out there about Chief Fulkerson. There's other information that exists most likely about the, about the assistant chief. There's uh, information out here that You're we could probably... Okay. Sir. Well, thank you. And uh, I do ask uh, each one of you to consider what I said. Thank you. 